me going back to the three fidelities. Number two, effects of the CFC require revision. Ang nangyari kay CFC, you broke the creed. Nilagay ang Holy Spirit sa worship. Hindi dapat inihiwalay ang Espiritu Santo sa Diyos sa doctrine. So, sa revision, ibabalik ang Espiritu Santo kasama ng Ama at ng Anak. Oo. Nilagay, nilagay ng CFC sa, take note ha, kung ang CCC, four parts, ang CCC, CFC, tatlo lang. Ang CCC, four parts. Di ba? Doctrine, worship, morals, prayer. Ang CFC, doctrine, moral, worship, BMW. Tapos, ang ginawa pa, doctrine, nandun ang Father and Son. Walang Espiritu Santo. Nilagay sa third part. Yung sinasabi nga, na tinatanong ko si Father Jenny Diwa, hindi lang naman Espiritu Santo ang nagtatrabaho sa liturgy. Kaya nga, at patrem, perfilio, yung Espiritu Santo to the Father, through the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, ibabalik natin ang Espiritu Santo kasama si Ama at ang Anak. Major defect yun. Third, updating of the context to consider lights and shadows of the church and society in the Philippines. Three major trends na dapat maipasok na. Number one, secularism. Two, post-truth and religious fundamentalism. I'm asking the assistance of Father Albert Alejo and later with the USD <coughs> Research Center in terms of contextualizing challenges of the youth. Okay? So, babaguhin mo yun. Yan ang mabigat. Number four, take note, to 20 years ago, wala pa si Benedict. Wala pa rin si Francis. We need to update content to include Deus Caritas Est, Specialty, Lumen Fidei. Tama? So, ipapasok na. And this very important document, Evangelii Gaudium, which is the Magna Carta of the New Evangelization. At ito, yung encyclical sa politics, economy, culture, at Filipino spirituality. Dapat may paso. Kasi sinulat yan, 1997, 1998, 1999, 2000. Yung apat na documents na yun. Ang presidente nun was Archbishop Oscar Cruz. Proposal for five. Clear and coherent presentation of the truths of the faith in light of the hierarchy of truths and the hierarchy of values, care for endorsing one school of theological thought while compromising the truth of faith expressed in the CCC. In other words, ang bigyan natin ng tiin yung mahalagang doktrina para madali. Kasi ang pinopropose na, pag natapos yun, ang ginagawa ko lang ngayon is morals. Sa doktrin may ibang gagawa. Sa worship may gagawa. Para specialization ang gagawa. Next, number, proposed committee members. Ayan. 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 <coughs> Consultation areas are three. Lumen Christi, Mother of Light, and Mother Francisca. The three Tatigatra Centers. Kasi kinakailangan ay mag-consultation at mag-actual uh, project <coughs> testing. Magpa-pilot 
best in the world. With the heart of this. So proposed directions for derivation is the concept framework of Staffel-Beam. Uh, Staffel-Beam is a methodology of context input process output. Okay. Next. So suggestion is that in the area of morality be divided into two parts fundamental truths and the became of fundamental truths yeah. and then decalogue kasi gagamitin pa rin natin ang CS, CCC the CCC yung second part kasi ng morals is based on ten commandments pero magsasamahan na six and nine magkasama seven and ten ang six external Ang nine, internal. Ang seven, external. Lack of stealing. Ang ten, internal. Which is huh, coveting. Coveting. Which is an interior sin. Okay. So the pride, the great leader of Christian moral life, yan, the church as shaper of moral character, pattern of tradition, primitive moral deliberation. Maganda itong images of the church sa moral theology. Itong ginagamit ko. Shaper of moral character, better of moral tradition, and community of moral deliberation. And you need to include this. Circles of discernment. Kanina naman galing to. Galing to kay Cardinal Quevedo when he was president of CBCP. Ang sabi niya, let every BEC, every community engage to become a circle of discernment using the pastoral spiral. And the formation of the Filipino social conscience with the pastoral spiral and Catholic social teachings. At ito dapat ang idadad, landas ng pagpapakaganan. Kasi nga natapos 1997 yung CFC. So wala na yung 97, 98, 99, 2000 na pastoral letters na sa PCP2 sinabi, balikan niyo yung apat na documents na yun kasi mahalaga. Because that is catechesis in context. Especially, nandas ng pagpapakabanal. So ito ay papasok ngayon sa discernment process. Strong accompaniment and discernment. So, ilalagay na natin yun doon. Patitindihin pa yung discernment process as part of seeking the will of God. Iintayin ko yung dadabas na document from the Synod. Kasi yun ang topic ng Synod of Bishops. Youth and discernment. Lumabas na ang instrument of laboris. Maganda naman. Maganda, maganda. Very Ignatian. Makikita mo talaga yung spirituality ni Pope Francis. Strongly Ignatian. Not Jesuit, ah. Ignatian. Ignatian. Okay. Now, let me now end. Para tapos na ang ating pag-i-rust. <laughs> What are the categorical challenges in the 21st century? Hindi ka kung gumawa na make things as simple as possible. First is Christ. Second is Church. Third is Country. Crisis. These are the three catechetical challenges in the 21st century. Christ, church, country. If you share this to your catechist, they could easily understand. In other words, that's the agenda. From church documents as well as directions from the Philippine hierarchy. Christ, church, country. <coughs> 
Okay, let's go to each of them briefly now as conclusion to our gathering. When you say Christ, we focus on Jesus of Nazareth. The centerpiece of Christianity is not the book, it is Jesus, the incarnate word. Ang Diyos ay nakatawang tao, hindi nakatawang libro. Okay, am I on? There is only one single deposit of faith. The word of God is Jesus. Verbo Domini. Daily Verbo. And there are mysteries. Three major mysteries in the Jesus story. First, incarnation. Second, public ministry that moves to the kingdom of God, vision. And third, the Paschal mystery. Three, in the Jesus story are three mysteries. Incarnation, kingdom of God, Paschal mystery. To make Jesus known and loved, you need to once again tell and retell the story of Jesus. The three mysteries must shine. We are the religion of the incarnate word. Now, is that enough? Therefore, the challenge is to form men and women of character. What is the character? When did we receive character? When we were baptized. Huh? We become other Christ. Alter Christus, ipse Christus. Politico. Alter Christus, ipse Christus. Translation. We become other Christ, Christ himself. Every Christian by virtue of baptism has been marked with character to become truly other Christ, Christ himself. The challenge, therefore, is to form men and women of character. That in us, they see Jesus. Okay, that's the first. First challenge is to form men and women of character. Next, church. Sentire cum ecclesia means to think with the church, to be good sons and daughters of the church. Why? We cannot behead Jesus. You cannot say, I love the church, I love Jesus, but I do not like the church. I like Jesus, but I do not like the pastors of the church. Wrong theology. Because Jesus brings us to the community known as the church. Now, point, point. Huh? What makes the church holy is not the Pope, bishops, and priests. What makes the church holy is because God is present in the church. The holiness of the church is not dependent on the morality of priests. The holiness of the church is dependent on the presence of God, His abiding presence in the church. I shall be with you until the end of the age. In other words, what makes us holy is God Himself. That is why the church is holy, because God is holy. Very important also in sacraments. What does that mean? The sacramental power is not dependent on the morals of the minister. But by virtue of the act, God is present. Ex opere operati. But the challenge is ex opere operati, which is your disposition as a minister in the celebration of the sacrament. How would you allow the grace to be fruitful? Because for one thing, it's a question of validity, ex opere operato. But it's a question of fruitfulness, ex opere operatis. And the two must go together. Not enough to say, Agnisa ako. But how holy have you struggled with the mysteries is ex opere operatis. Your disposition in the Mass. When the attitude is, I celebrate this Mass primum, ultimum, solu. I celebrate this Mass and because it is my, as if it were my first Mass, my last Mass, and my only Mass, I give the best in the celebration. It's an attitude of celebration. That's ex opere operantis. Because grace builds on nature. Okay, 
and Irikumi clergy. Therefore, to love the church, in spite of the persecution experienced by Teresa of Avila, the last words uttered by her on her deathbed was, Alfi, yo soy hija de la iglesia. In the end, I am a daughter of the church. And satirical iglesia, therefore, is this. The challenge is to form men and women who have great love for the church. Mahalin, but the church is jurisdictional. Ang dapat ituro sa bata ay, which parish do you belong? Which diocese do you belong? Who is your bishop? Because the bishop is the vicar of Christ in his diocese. He is the vicar of Christ. It is found in Lumen Gentium. Because the bishop is Christ among us. The great love for the bishop. And the priests are collaborators of the bishop. The closest collaborators that is found in Lumen Gentium. Therefore, to love the pastors of the church is to love Jesus. To have great love for the church means to recognize that the church is hierarchical. The word hierarchy means the rule of priests. Hieros means the rule of priests. Now, the rule of priests does not mean domination, but ministerial. The rule of priests is ministerial. Our ordination calls us to minister. What does that mean? To be of service to the laity. John Paul II said that in Holy Thursday. Sabi niya, hierarchy is not above the laity. Hierarchy does not run parallel with the laity. Hierarchy is for the laity. It exists to serve. It is ministerial in character. We are here to serve. That is why maganda ang simple eh. Nang year of clergy and consecrated, Jesus washing the feet. Ministry, si Cardinal Denzi ito, means minus three. I must look at myself three degrees lower than the people I serve. That's his theology. That is Denzi Rosales. Minus three. Three degrees lower, we stoop down because the people around us are our masters because they are Jesus for us. It's an attitude. To have a great love for the church, therefore, the Christian people of God must love the pastors. And three, last. The challenge of country is love for country and for people, especially the poor and the vulnerable. We should love our country. That sense of the macrocosm, that we are not only Catholics, but we are Filipino Catholics. We have a way of celebrating and living and proclaiming the faith. But please take note, as I said, Loving the people that Jesus loves is what catechesis is all about. When I was hungry, he gave me something to eat. Okay? Therefore, called to be, to form men and women in the ways of engaged citizenship. Engagement. Mulat sa mga nangyayari at tumutugon sa mga tanda ng panahon hindi nakapikit at hindi natatakot. Favorite itong sasabi ni Archbishop so walang parin duwa because you are fired with the spirit of the risen Jesus. The boldness of Paul and Peter in the Acts of the Apostles must be the very same spirit that move us now with great threats to our life. Engagement means proactive citizenship. So these are the three challenges, uh, brothers and sisters. Christ, church.
Thank you.